Chris Price with Keller Williams Realty and the Indy Property Source. Um, I'm here today on site at a property uh, just to kind of go over what to do in the case that uh, you feel like you might have an insurable claim, maybe some hail damage or some storm damage. Just had some pretty heavy storms that came through the area, so um, depending on where you're at, uh, you know, uh, there might be some steps to take. So just wanted to go over some updates on the ins insurance industry and you know, kind of some things to do as a responsible homeowner. Uh, but, you know, if you do have a mortgage on your home, you have homeowner's insurance. And if you don't have a mortgage, then you probably still have some kind of homeowner's insurance. If you don't or you're unsure, you know, reach out to us. We have uh, uh, some good companies we can refer you to. Um, but assuming that you do have an insurance uh, policy on your home, um, what we want to talk about today is what to do uh, if, you, if you're in an area that was hit by a storm and you think you might have damage, well, first of all, you want to reach out to your insurance agent and see what they say. Uh, they're probably going to tell you to have a contractor come out and uh, uh, have a contractor come out and uh, look at to see if you have any insurable damage. So they'll probably get on your roof, look for uh, dents to the roof vents, to uh, the shingles, to your gutters. Uh, something I was going to try to point out here today would be like just uh, if you from the ground if you have awnings or um, anything siding wise on the house or your gutters that's visible from the ground if you don't have a ladder uh, then you know try to check those out on your own and if you see these like little you know dime size uh, hail uh, dent marks like you would on a car then um, you've got a potential claim there Another good sign, or potentially a good sign, I guess, if if you're driving down the street and you see, you know, sign after sign of um, uh, like roofing companies or uh, places like that that are doing work as a result of the most recent hailstorm or storm damage, and that means that other insurance companies are, you know, approving claims in the area too. So you're more likely to to be able to get that approved. So. Depending on how bad it was, uh, you're usually looking at um, some kind of a roof replacement um, and uh, possibly gutters and siding, just how bad it was. But you want to have a contractor look at it first. So have somebody that specializes in it. They want to make sure they're licensed, bonded, and insured. They're going to give you an estimate. Take that back to your insurance agent. Then your insurance agent will, will, will file a claim. Now, previously you would file the you'd go ahead and tell them and they'd send out an adjuster just to check and it, it didn't really cause you any harm but uh, seemingly now the, the, the insurance industry has changed so that you um, uh, you would actually that, that could cause uh, your insurance report um, to look like you did file a claim so it could impact your, your premium amount um, so again that, that could be something that uh, you know is, is detrimental to you if, you if you don't end up having any damage but what the insurance company is going to do is they're going to look at it and if they approve it they're going to approve uh, you know depending on what kind of policy you have they're going to more than likely going to approve the amount minus your deductible so you'd have to pay for the deductible uh, and then everything else would would get you a you know replacement uh, a value uh, a roof um, things like that which if you have an older roof and probably we're going to need to do it in the five, 10 years, then that, that could be a good thing. So we, we do recommend to clients that live in areas that were impacted to at least look into it because a new roof is a big cost. And if it's an insurable claim, uh, that might as, might as well be something that you look into. And in, in central Indiana, uh, you know, every couple of years we seem to have storms that could affect almost every area in the metro area. So that would give out some uh, some advice on that. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to us. Um, we have a uh, general questions uh, email, info at indiepropertysource.com. You can visit us on the web at theindiepropertysource.com or give us a call, 317-886-8477.